So, do you remember that video I did about this guy? Remember how I told you that he was going down the wrong road and that this was really bad and it was really just apostate what he was doing and how all these theological liberals on YouTube got mad at me for saying that? Pay attention to how many times he uses the word doctrine in this video. It's a lot. If you're not like this, this stereotypical straight, you know, white male. Doctrine and doctrine and doctrine and doctrine and doctrine and doctrine and doctrine. With Ecclesia, I feel like He's trying to serve the church by challenging the church. Because doctrine's gone, something has filled the void in Christian music. Has it though? A straight black male that fits into evangelical culture, then like, then that's a problem. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm with you there, Spencer. He uses the word weird a lot. What is it to you? Oh, I didn't forget. Well, it's gotten a lot worse. And turns out that Brother Spencer wasn't right. It's that the Bible was right about these type of people. First Timothy 4, 1 Timothy 4.1 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So if we're going to be the type of people that believe that doctrine does matter, then we have to be leery of something called doctrines of devils. And I want you to notice the order and the progression of this verse. It says, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. They gave heed to the seducing spirits first, and then they got into doctrines of devils. And the seducing spirits of today are often found in the music. And so I would tell you, and I always have told you, that bad music is born out of bad doctrine. And it never really was about the music. It was always about the doctrine to begin with. But bad music is always born out of bad doctrine. And I found this group called Ecclesia, and there was basically a, a trio, and then the one single young guy ended up being the, the face of it and went on a solo career. And I started talking about how he was doing some goofy stuff, I mean, just blatantly demonic things in his newest music video. And I was saying something like, hey, guys, this is the end of that road. This is not what you want to do. This is not what you want to get involved in. Get your kids away from this stuff. And we put out a video, and it did very well. Some would even consider this viral, but it did pretty good. And a number of different things happened. I even, I even had the young man on the phone with me. We spoke for a little while. I tried to convince him of the error of his ways, but uh, he was too far gone into just absolute, just demonic doctrines. It was, it was evil, the stuff this young man was saying to me. He even said to me on the phone, he said, You can find God to a book. And I said, yeah, that's what all Christians do. This is the Bible, the Word of God. And he said, what, are, what about the things outside of that book that you don't know? I said, what? In th what? And this is the kind of stuff this young man was telling me. And I prayed for him. I spoke to him personally. We, we, we talked on Instagram through the app for a little while. Um, and just I couldn't convince him. He's too deep into this stuff. And I warned him. I said, listen to me. You are going away from this book as fast as you possibly can and he didn't see a problem with that. He wanted to see outside the realm of this book, which is mysticism. But guys, what I've been telling you the whole time on this channel is that this music is horrible. That there is a spirit beyond and spirit behind this music that is not pulling you closer to this book. It is pulling you away from this book as fast as it possibly can. And you have to ask yourself, okay, all these popular bands that are into all this wild and crazy music, all these people that are out there the main frontline contemporary people, why is it that almost every single one of them has major, major doctrinal problems? They don't take stands against things like homosexuality. Uh, they're all into the social justice stuff. They all have major doctrinal problems. Why? It's because that seducing spirit of this music pulls them into the doctrines of devils. I mean, for crying out loud, one of the guys who started DC Talk says he now believes in the cosmic Christ. How much more doctrine of devilish can you be? Now, I'm not saying that I know everything, but I'm kind of like the founder of IBM. Uh, he said this. He said, I'm smart in spots, and I try to stay close to those spots. Well, when it comes to this particular issue, we are telling you the truth here. We are telling you that this music is bad because it was born out of bad doctrine. And all of this is about doctrine. And the doctrines of devils will pull you away from God as fast as you possibly can imagine. And you don't want this for your kids. You don't want this for your church. You don't want this for yourself. You need to get away from this music. This music is bad. It is destroying you. It is eating away at your soul. And it literally is pulling you away from this book. And so let's go take a good old look at our old buddy from Ecclesia right here. Here is one of the old pictures that we showed in the thumbnail. But uh, here he is today. 
today doing all kinds of demonic poses and I mean, Lord have mercy, what what more am I supposed to say? He's got the wheel of Brahma on his third eye there. And, uh, I mean, the, the captions that he puts in these, in these posters and pictures are just unbelievable. He's also got stuff like this all over his page. And, uh, he, I mean, just, and people are reaching out to him, saying all kinds of things, trying to, trying to tell him, come back in, get, get away from all this weird new age stuff. And I'm talking about neo evangelical people are even telling him he's getting way too out of the banks. Uh, here's another one that he did. And if you've seen third Adam, this is, uh, this is very enlightening. He, he took all these pictures of this girl and she's sitting in a yoga pose and whatever. And, uh, and he says in all realms and all planes through all time in her divine feminine, that is not good. That should alarm you greatly. Here's another picture he took of himself with his third eye and just, I mean, horrible stuff. And then he says here, the formless wills itself to be imaginations from other realms and higher dimensions begging for the channeler to catch the signal, a God coming forth. Genesis 3, 5, for God doth know in the day ye shall eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. What this man is saying here on his channel is Satanism. This man is literally worshiping Satan, telling everybody he's worshiping Jesus. I rest my case. And he's also saying crazy stuff on here. He's got the rainbow hands and uh, the third eye on his middle finger, and he's saying stuff like, you know, I am the octave, the spectrum, the binary, and beyond. And he says this in this post. He says, The biggest change this year is my choice to be 100% authentically myself, the eccentric, colorful, provocative, childlike Andrew that God designed for such a time as this. I'm done editing and splitting myself to make fearful people comfortable. I'm embracing my holy human self, mess and all. I hope you do the same. See, listen, my holy human self, there is no such thing. You are not holy. God is holy. And now he's saying that I am holy, my holy human self. That is demonic. That is satanic as it possibly can be. Another thing, if you notice here, he's putting the 444 on there. That That is that is a new age practice. They they put out word, you know, numbers 333, 999, 444s. They even put out 666. They do that, and you can just go check the new age uh, Instagram accounts. They do this all the time. And he is practicing new age doctrines of devil practices. And also, if you notice here, this this childlike Andrew, what they say here, uh, if you notice that uh, Lauren Daigle talks about being the childlike, being a childlike person, just childlike. She talks about that all the time because I think Lauren Daigle is one of these people too. Although she's not as obvious about it, she she is a little bit in the same spectrum as Andrew is. And guys, I'm not the only one that has a problem with this guy. This comment right here is very useful. It says, uh, new age Christianity is a dangerous place. I really, really love your work work, uh, but please don't mix in your own beliefs into the true word of God. He is not genderless. He is not a woman, and this symbolism is not biblical. Please read the word and specifically pray for discernment about these things because you have a power to lead people into a direction, and I would hate for you to lead them the wrong way. I say amen to that. But guys, listen, just, just take a good look. Just take a good look at this picture right here and ask yourself, do you want to go down this same road? Do you want to be a part of this same false religion? Do you want your kids going down this road? Then get out of these churches. Get your family out of these modernistic, liberal, Hillsong Bethel Elevation churches. Get your families out of these nonsense, new age, garbage churches. Because you are seeing the fruit of all this right now on your screen. It's right there. Just look. I mean, it's just, it's right there. Just look at it. Do you want your grandkids being this way? If you don't, then get out and get out now. And don't don't try to go in there and try to change it. Well, you know, if I leave, I just, you know, I'll just i leave all my friends. And I want to go in there and try to talk to my pastor and try to reason with him. He, I'm going to tell you right now, he's not going to listen to you. Get out. Get your family out. Get your kids out. And go find a good Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church that doesn't doesn't let junk like this go on. I mean, what, what in the world are you even looking at? This is insanity. Get away from this guy and get off this path. Some people will say, well, now, wait a minute. I like the music. The music makes me feel so good. You know what you sound like? You sound like a woman's being seduced. But he makes me feel so good. He makes me feel good about myself. That's what women who are getting ready to have an affair say. And it doesn't make you feel good for a godly spiritual purpose. It makes you feel good because it's seducing you away from God and the Bible. Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. That's your music. And doctrines of devils. What does that look like? Well, 
it kind of looks something like this. That's what it looks like. And this poor young man has gone down the wrong road. And I don't know, maybe there's nothing I can do to help him, but I can help you. Get away from these people. Get out of these churches. Get out of these rock and roll churches because they're garbage. And it's not a preferential thing. You people that are going around saying, well, Bro Spencer's being a Pharisee. He's being too legalistic. He just, he just, he just thinks he's the only one in the world who's right. Are you a fool? Are you an absolute fool? Stop going to these churches. They're killing you. And they're taking you down the wrong road. And I don't want that for you. Subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. And if you haven't become a channel member, please become one today. You can join for as little as $1.99 a month. And we love you all. And we hope that we can be a blessing and help to you. Stay tuned for much more content just like this. And we'll see you guys very soon.